What are the limits of creation? Time, space, technology, belief. This is the brand new Worldwide Film Off Challenge. Teams will have 48 hours to write, produce, and edit their films to be judged by our illustrious panel. You'll need a team, a location, and the self-belief to persevere. The competition begins in one month. And don't forget to watch this space for further updates. I'm Randy Rogers, proudly bringing this new opportunity to the world. And why me, you ask? I was once a film reviewer for one of the greatest film publications until I decided to walk away to bring this opportunity to you. Entry to competition will cost $30 per team. Tickets to the award ceremony are not included. You almost done, Sam? Nearly there. Are you sure? Seems like it's nearly there. And what does seems like mean? Oh, God, come on. No, seriously, because we're going to have the instructions through for this film challenge soon. I do not want to miss this stuff. Well, like I said, give it a couple of minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll be done. It'll be done. It smells like it's burning. Maybe that's just like, you know, the aroma of the peppers and the taste coming out. I mean, it's just pasta. But... No, no, what? That nothing should smell like it's burning if it's not burning. I... <clears throat> Come on, well, man. If we had a normal English breakfast with a bit of eggs, beans, and toast, I wouldn't have burned it. But you wanted pasta with all this fancy vegetable stuff. Pasta is one thing to cook. A full English breakfast is like seven yeah. things at the same time. <sighs> well, garlic bread's burnt, that's for sure. <sighs> See, if you'd have done what I told you before, and if you'd have preheated the oven, and then put it, the dull side four up on the tray, and then put that in, and then timed it, it'd be fine. You wouldn't have to be chowing down on, on burnt garlic bread now, would I'm, you? I'm a creator. I don't need to a learn A creator of things. burnt food. You've got the opportunity to learn from me, but... Might as well throw that away. Oh, come on, no. So how are you finding it working together for the first time? <laughs> it's not the first time, Jackson, come on. Do you really think we're just going to like not make films just because we don't have them? Of course yeah. we're going to make films. Come on, you know us better than that. That we've got something that we've been waiting to show you. It's like an ultimate trailer, it's going to blow everyone away and I think it's about time we launch... No? Do you not think we need someone to see it? Well, yeah, but it's, it's just not ready yet to be seen. I know, but you've been saying that for the last, like, five weeks, that it's not ready, it's not ready, it's not ready. It's got to be ready eventually. Well, eventually it will be, but... Yeah. Well, maybe, what, what, tell me what's it, what it's about, maybe. Well, okay, well, we were, we were working on this film, and it's, it's, it's pretty big. I mean, you know us. <laughs> Shyamalan twist, that's all I can say. Shyamalan twist, don't need to tell you any more, Shyamalan twist. Yeah, I mean, when you do finally see the trailer, it'll all become clear, you know. Exactly, and that's why we should show him the trailer. But it's not ready yet to be seen. But let's think of it like that, that Joker film. Remember we watched the trailer with Joaquin Phoenix, and he was all cool, and he did the whole... You know, he did that half smile thing. Yeah. Everybody went crazy, and they knew nothing about the film. So yeah, I think getting that. that trailer out there, everyone is going to go... Hey, okay, but we don't have the same kind of marketing as that. Plus, you know, we've got to we've got to build suspense. You know, we've got to build intrigue. We don't we haven't even released the teaser trailer yet. But then, th this trailer is only th thirty seconds as it is. If we're doing a teaser trailer, that's like a five second trailer. And I know well, you said that was yeah, a good somewhere idea. Somewhere between from... five and ten seconds. But uh, God, Chad, just come over here. Just to show him the trailer. Let's All right, just, fine. I, okay. We need All someone right. else to see this. All right.
What did you think? Um, it was short. Mm. Yeah. Quite quite short. It actually. is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a number of reasons that it is short. You know, I mean, uh, as you saw, you know, the character was running. You know, due to the the current social status and you know the the things that are happening in our world, it's that it's that trying to escape from the world around them. It's uh, it's also got a lot to do with the class system. You know, that kind of feeling that you're you're out of place, out of time. It's got some got some deep meaning in there. Plus, we ran out of money, and we only had that much we could shoot. But it's a good start, and that's going to get us some money. So that's why we need to get that trailer out there. Yeah. There you go. Cheers. That's alright. Right. right. So let's Goodness. talk numbers. Okay. Um, you've been keeping an eye on things, so. Mhm. Mm happy or really what's the happy. deal? So our numbers have gone up by six percent in the last three weeks. So viewing numbers, and as you, I've had so many ideas in from people that are like fans of the show of what they want to see. So the feedbacks. Yeah, it's oh. doing so well. So, and we might possibly be getting some more sponsors and stuff coming forward as well. So if we keep up this trend for yes, oh, six months time, you know. Yep. I, I mean. I can't obviously name any names just yet, but I've had a few approaches as to they want to take it from just streaming the, onto um, other. Was that the company that we were? Yeah. So yeah. So there's uh, no bad news. It's just all good. So just keep doing what you're doing because it, it's working. <laughs> Are you excited for the film challenge? Are we? Oh my god! It's all we can think about. I mean we. I don't really know what the criteria is yet, but just so many ideas flying around. I know, we've just, basically you can't really prepare anything specific, so we've just kind of prepared a bunch of different, different yeah. things, we can just hopefully pick one, wouldn't it? I mean like, Alice and we, me, we just like, come up with ideas that seem to sort of work, that, without sounding like really big headed, but I mean obviously like the puppet show and everything has been so good, so, and it's our first challenge, ever. Both of us, so and we, we get to do it together. Yes, um, yeah. So we're super excited. And uh, is Rishi still involved? Oh yeah, no. Um, he's he's been a part of the team the whole time, and of course he's going to work with us. I mean, me and Rishi, we work so well together, and it's just nice to have that kind of on-screen chemistry. Why not bring that into the film challenge? Yeah, and I mean like. All three of us have got some really amazing ideas and um, it just kind of seems to work. So, yeah. It's a nice little team we've got, yeah. But to that like little triangle thing. But yeah, it's going to be really cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's going to go nicely. So what are you, uh, what are you cooking for? Um, well, you know, just trying to make sure that, you know, me and Sam eat properly. You know, when you're... When you're living in conditions like this, you know, it's important to keep the food up, keeps your mood good, you know. Helps me, you know, preparing things as well, you know, get a bit of a handle on things here with, with him. So, we've got some garlic, got some tiny red onions, and uh, I'm going to be adding these to the tomatoes, coriander, and the other onions, just to make a nice kind of, nice kind of salad base. I'm also going to grab some eggs out of this cupboard just here. Paul, Paul, there they are. The objections have come through. Come on, don't worry about the eggs. We'll sort out a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Quick, 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 quick. What's going down? Can you see? She's just, she's just printing off the criteria now. She's got it. Oh, she's got it. Okay. Okay. There you go. One for you. One for me. This is a good brief. Hmm. Really good. I can, I can see this already. Really? Yeah. That was quick. Oh, this is so exciting. No, I know, just... Hang on. So I get all that bit. Yeah, which is great. And it works. But the synopsis... Mm. A family meal leads to misery. What? There it says, like the title, like the idea, it's based around a family meal leads to misery. 
but that sounds like a really depressing drama and that's not really our... No. Yeah, it's going to play out as a drama. So you've got this family sat at a table, okay, so the food's been served. I'm thinking maybe like a period piece, you know? So the food's being served, the family's there, somber, it's dimly lit, and the camera pans back down the table, revealing each of the family members before something happens to take it down the misery route. I mean, that's kind of just describing the, the description, really, but, um, I mean, it could do with something fantastical, something to get people more motivated to be interested in the film, you know, rather than just somber sitting around a table, you know? Such as... Maybe, you know, something a bit... One of them's a serial killer, or... Oh, um, come on. Really? Well, I, I know that you always say that the easy, lazy thing to do is to make somebody a serial killer. But That's think true. about it. It's interesting. People love serial killers. Yeah, but think about if it could be a drama. If something could happen between those people in that room that causes the misery at the end. Maybe, maybe you could have your serial killer moment, but it could be one of the family members driven to that point. You know, not necessarily being a, a killer until it's that point where they're forced minutes, to kill. It's only two minutes though, Paul. We need to have like, ah, oh, welcome to the Matt family meal, have some food, and then stab, stab, stab. And then the audience is completely motivated to keep watching. Are they? Or are they going to be like, where did the stab, stab, stab come from? They've just sat down to eat. Ah, uh, you, you, you just always got that typical critical perception that as soon as you see blood in the eyes, it means that you're not going to keep watching the film. There's nothing wrong with a bit of stab, stab. Of course there is. Come on. Think about Terrence Malick. He does substance. You know? He does some beautiful shots. We shot can't pieces. always be talking about Terence Malick. I mean, the guy makes, he made to make films for years and then he makes loads of films that nobody particularly likes. I know you're a diehard and they're all masterpieces in your eye, but, you know, he could have done with a bit more of a kind of, you know, just to push the narrative a oh, bit. There was God's a lot sake. of characters who did Not every narrative needs stabbing to push it along. I disagree with you, and we keep going back to this point, but, you know, genre is what people like. It's yeah. what they're comfortable with. Keep them comfortable. And drama is a genre that everyone's comfortable with, isn't it? Drama's Everyone not wants. a genre. We've had this chat. Drama oh is God. not a genre. Yes, drama it is. Drama uh, is just, you it's know... What? Oh, hello. I've got no money. It's all kitchen sinks and everything. Okay, this, well, this then here's far, horror. Right? Oh, my God, something happened. Stab. Ah! You need to show more respect to horror. You know, well, you, you need to, to show understand. more respect to drama and Terence Malick. Well, what was The Grey Man? The Grey Man, our first film that got distribution, was a horror film. And it got everywhere. To, well, I say everywhere, you know, it's on a couple of websites. And it was downloaded like 20 times illegally. That's why we need some stabs. Yeah, no, you're right. What was Grey Man? That, we're, we're not, well, we're, you know, we're not going to get into that. But that's why this needs more violence. Does or, it? Does it really? I think it needs more substance. Come on, something people can relate to. I think everybody can relate to the feeling of being stabbed. It's not our style, so let's make it a comedy. Let's make it like a, a black comedy. I don't... Absolutely. Like a no, a disaster, really nice. a disaster like movie, but it's funny, but you, it's kind of like car crash. Yeah, and it, it totally works with the rest of it too. So, comedy. I think we've got it. Right, so, if we're gonna do that then, let's drop down some ideas, so. Yeah, I know. The Shining. I know we always keep coming back to The Shining, but it's always The Shining. The Shining proves everything is right. Is it a horror or a drama? Well, I think it's more of a drama. I mean, oh, come on. There's ghosts and killings and stabbings and everything. I know, but there's also suspense and tension building ah. and character development. Character development. The thin line where you guys go, oh, this one's got Oscars or this one's got this. And then, oh, it's not a horror anymore. It's a drama. It's a horror pure and pure. Yeah. Like Get Out, like Hereditary. They're all horrors. All no. horrors. Yeah, but those are different to The Shining. Come on, like you said, there is a thin line and we are not here to judge those people and put we them into here. categories. Kubrick is dead and now it is time for his judgment. It is a horror film, not a drama. Then, <laughs> we are not the ones who should be judging this. We, we are the ones who can, who can revel in the delight that he produced something like this for us to see. I thought after the last argument, you were on my side. We'd had a few drinks and you were like, well, yeah. And I thought after the last argument, we were it? done with this shit. 
Okay, all right, okay, okay, okay. But to go back to the original point, this needs to be a genre, this needs to be stabity stab stab, because that is what people can connect to, not kitchen sinks. Okay. That's all I'm saying, not kitchen sinks, it's always I the will, kitchen sink. I will, I will compromise with you, how about this, okay, right? We will, we will have some stabby stabby, but we will have story leading up to the stabby stabby so people understand why it had to happen. People will understand because they'll be like, oh look, a knife went in his chest and he was stabbed. Yes, I know they'll understand that he was stabbed, but they need to understand the, 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 what led up to him being stabbed. Why was he stabbed? Who stabbed him? What was their motivation for stabbing him? Motivation. Motivation. Stab. <sighs> so just jotting down some more notes. We've had a really, really good brainstorming session today, actually, me and Alice, and we've come up with some pretty good ideas, I think. I mean... The fact that we're even getting the opportunity to do something like this is crazy and it's just really refreshing to actually work with two people that I get on with and there's no infighting, we all just gel, I mean like us and Rishi just get on like a house on fire pretty much and that's nice, you know, there's no awkwardness, there's no I've got a better idea than you, blah blah blah, you know, it's just really opens your eyes after working with like Sam and Paul and all that lot. But yeah, so it'll be cool. I mean, we've just got to make sure that Rishi's on board, but I mean, like, I think Alice is filling him in now, so, on the phone. Just a really long chat. <laughs> we saw each other, like, yesterday. But yeah. I mean... It's great that they get on. I mean, like I say, it's just a really good atmosphere and um, just nice to actually just get on and not be fighting all the time. It's really long. Nice. Um, if you don't mind, are we, we done? Because I'm just filming with Rishi. We forgot to... Oh, okay. Um, cool. I thought... I thought you got everything that you needed to yesterday. Yeah, no, it's just pickups and that, you know, you know how it is, you know. Yeah, um, well, don't forget Melvin. Oh, or Marvin, whatever his name is. Melvin. Melvin. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, guys. All right, yeah, yeah have fun. It's a puppet. Sorry, you still, well, you were still filming. That seemed really nasty. Um, she just super attached to the puppet, which is weird. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll, um, wrap up here and, uh, let them two get on with, you know, whatever it is that they're doing. I'll go home myself. Chardonnay in the fridge waiting. My secrets are coming to the surface. My sky is falling. My sky is falling I don't think that we should be friends Don't think we should waste our time I don't